away from me again. So <laughs> the guys are helping me. Jaden's helping and Dan's helping and Zeke. We're um, weeding a big, big circle around each plant. I may have lost one. I don't know. It still has a little bit of green on it. a big wide circle. That way we can see the weed eat around this. We're gonna till it and we're gonna till it a few times this week and then we're gonna we're gonna put mulch down. got the ground tilled up the first time but now we're gonna give them some water and some hopefully well we have five bags of mulch so we'll give them what mulch we can until we can get to town and get more and this is where we unravel hoses that someone left in a tangled mess Looks a lot better than it did. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're wet, Chuck. <laughs> The blueberries are nice and mulched. So I'm pretty happy to have this done. Now I shouldn't have to hunt them down in the weeds anymore. Now the next step is to get the rest of this tilled up a couple more times. And then we're gonna sow some grass so that we can mow in between the rows. So that's the plan. My mom gave me a bunch of apples. And because I haven't had enough to put up, I'm gonna make some applesauce too. So it's the start of applesauce and apple butter season. I'll just let them soak for about five minutes, five to 10 minutes. And the only thing we need to do to these apples is we need to core and slice them. No peeling is necessary. So I've got my peeler off to the side so we don't use that. You also wanna cut out any bad spots trying to get any rotten or wormholes, anything like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it on my handy dandy. Hey. I usually call this a peeler, but since I'm not peeling, Andrew. am I not doing it right? You gotta pull the thing back. Oh, good grief. Remember the lever. Okay, <laughs> super smart. I'm gonna go forward. Okay. Peeling! Mama's having a blonde day. Peel! All right, and then just take that apple and throw it in your pot. You don't even need to slice it again if you don't want to. So you're st still using apples that have yeah, I am. big spots on I don't want to waste them. Oh, that, that one's really bad. So that one's gonna get here's a good one it just has a little rotten spot so I'm gonna cut around that and cut that out 
need to cut a little bit more. I don't know, do we? Okay. He wastes no time. Okay. Go ahead. Peel, baby, Ooh. peel. Ooh. Or not peel, slice. Keep going. Don't stop. Good job. One more. Alright, that's good, baby. Once you have all your apples in your pot, then you're going to take and sprinkle over two teaspoons of lemon juice. And then you want to add a cup of water. At this point, you can mix everything up, but there's no need to. There's no need. So I'm just going to take this over to my foodie, flop it in. So I'm going to pop the lid on and just set it in place. And then I'm gonna make sure that my vent is to seal, and it is. It's to seal. I have not pressure cooked with this yet, so I'm gonna go to pressure on the function. The time, I wanna do uh, 10 minutes. And then I'm just gonna start. Now you can just walk away from it and let it cook. Just let it naturally release. It'll probably take about a half an hour for your apples to cook into applesauce, for your apples to cook down, and then you'll make it into applesauce. Normally I use my actual Instant Pot, and I think I like using that better. Don't get me wrong, I love my foodie, but for applesauce, I really like using my Instant Pot better because I can, I can smash up the apples right in the Instant Pot. I don't have to move them. This has a nonstick coating on the bowl, so I can't really use that or I risk scratching it. So I've got to move these apples to a different bowl to be able to mash them, which is kind of frustrating. <clears throat> Not sure, why did they put the nonstick? Because it's aluminum. They're using the aluminum to conduct fast, conduct more. All right. Looks like fried onions. You can use an immersion blender, or you could even put it in a regular blender, but this is easy. I'm just gonna mash it up. Now one reason that I suggest blending it over a potato masher is because we left the peeling on. I like leaving the peeling on because it gives us a lot of nutrients in our applesauce. We lose a lot of those nutrients when we peel the apples. Just make sure that your jars are nice and clean and that they're hot. We washed ours and set them in the oven, had it on 200 and kept them warm while we were waiting for the applesauce. And then you're just gonna use a jar funnel and fill up your jar to about the bottom of the rim. Ooh, I got that way too full. Is this tomato sauce? No. Apple sauce. Apple sauce. I'm gonna just top off my jars a little bit. I think I can get a little bit more in some of these. Okay, my kids will lick the bowl now. I like to wipe the rim of my jar just in case I got any on it. I want to get a good seal and then I'm just gonna they're put hot. my yeah they're a little bit warm <laughs> you're just gonna put your lids on usually you'll do this with tongs but uh and then the rings And I like to use wide mouth for applesauce. It's just, I use it for things like pickles. I like it for applesauce. I don't know. I really like wide mouth jars, yeah. I prefer them. So you're gonna take your jars and just set them down on, in your water. 
in boiling water. Oh, it's not ready yet, baby. Now you're water bathing this, right? Not pressure. Yes, I am water bathing. I am using my pressure cooker, but I'm just water bathing it. So these are jar clamps, basically. They help you put jars down in hot water without burning yourself. All right, so we're gonna let that boil for about 20 minutes. Leftovers. Is it good? <laughs> it's been 20 minutes, so I'm getting it out. I'm gonna drain the water off the top so I don't burn myself. I'm gonna set it over here out of the way. I hear the sound. Zeke and I will probably have some applesauce and toast in a little while, won't we? You want some? Yeah. Me too. You ready for some toast, buddy? There you go. <laughs> Just let that cool, then I'll label it and put it in my pantry later on after it's cooled. Got more apples? You should make my favorite recipe for apple butter next. We'll see you guys next time.